Let's get straight to tonight's Telstra top story. Luciano Leilua has sensationally walked out on the West Tigers just one week after the club sacked their coach, Michael Maguire. This is big news. He was signed for next year, but he's decided the to leave. Cowboys. Yeah, with the Cowboys, sorry. And he's decided to leave effective immediately. Yeah, look, uh, it's a byproduct of the, uh, what it, was it, the old June 30 deadline, mm. guys? It's been pushed out to August 1. It allows uh, off off. Uh, off-contract players to freely move before August 1. This is the case with Luciano Leilua. This is about the fourth time the Cowboys have had a crack to try and get him out. Yeah. Uh, and Helam Lukey, mm. an ACL injury to the Cowboys back row, a very very talented player, I, I think it expedited the process. The process. Yeah. He, uh, wanted, he wanted to... Uh, th- look, this has been the process for a couple of weeks, though. Like he's, yep. And, and I don't agree with it, but unfortunately clubs have got to... Cop it these days. As soon as he decided in his own head, Leilua, that he wanted to go, his performances began to reflect that. And in the end, it just it, it basically left the Tigers with no option but to say, well, mate, you've got to go now. Mm. Because what they were getting out of him from a performance point of view was subpar. Yeah, it, it, it works for the Cowboys, but it's another kick in the guts for the Tigers and their fans. Like, it just shows that their players aren't committed, or not all their players are committed. Because well, how can you walk out on your team? halfway through the season if you are committed. Is this a hangover? You can't. Is it a hang- and as Kenny said, his performance on the weekend was below average. Yeah, it was. And that's why he had to go. I mean, if he's not going to turn up and play like he should be, because he's, ta- he's a talented player and he'll add a lot to... Well, he's a play turn option. as much as a Prime Minister break. Yeah, yeah exactly. But they're entitled that's to the turn point. up and have a go. Yeah, yeah. and the t- look, the Tigers did have the option of saying, well, mate, go back to reserve grade and sit there. But then uh, that means they've still got to pay. That means that the, the salary cap dispensation. Yeah. So there's no incentive for any club these days because a lot of people have been sitting at home right now saying, well, they should have just made him play reserve grade and he could have sat there if he's not having a crack. Mm. It helps uh, no one. And that, uh, well, uh, look, mm. it, it sends the, the, the message out, but it doesn't help the Tigers. They actually yeah. uh, they suffer from a salary cap point of view because of that, so they might as well let him go. I, I think another byproduct, guys, is Brett Kamali will take a very much a development um, approach to his selections going forward. I think he'll start to promote a lot of the kids that he's worked with in the Pathways programs. And knowing that Leilu is not a part of the club next year, uh, he'll start to pick a few of the younger and, and kids. And Sheens, Sheens will be fostering that as well yep. because that's what he, he, this is a really good opportunity now for the Tigers to actually sit down, have a look at what they got, let a couple of blokes put their toe in the water, figure out whether you know, they're going to make it, how mm. close or how far away they are at the at this point in time, and then that'll help them just shape next year's mm. roster by, by having a look at these guys. Well, that's uh, Tim Sheen's on the show said that they're going to look for the future now, which doesn't do Kamali any favours with his job for the rest of the season if they're looking uh, too far ahead. Or that well, they Kamali's have to. Kamali's already on record, Braith, of saying he hoped he could do show something in the next yeah. ten games well, that would convince the club to keep him on. Surely Sheen's he's got his mind made up in which direction he wants to go by the fact that they've got Seraldo out there and they're showing them around the club. And he said to us the other night that he wants to have a coach in place sooner rather than later so they're ready to hit the, the ground Is this running. part of the Maguire exodus? There was a, a rumour, you know, I think Gus Gould even said that six players, around six players may leave and follow if Maguire left. No. It's I, not part of that? No, no I, I, I don't believe in those comments, to be honest. I think, it's, I think that was a, a, a destabilising comment. Uh, for a shot over the bow at, at one mm. one club going through some turmoil equally to theirs to t- take the focus off the dogs, uh, and there might have been some management, some man- managers uh, playing in the background there, okay. suggesting that maybe they can get a player out. Nothing is ever as it seems. That's right, right. right, amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked. By those I don't believe that is anything to do with an exodus to the point where Tigers fans need to know that they didn't, they haven't completely, they sorry, they didn't roll over completely here. They did attempt to do a swap at one point with Leilua for Reese Robson, okay. the very talented dummy half at the Cowboys. Didn't eventuate. Good luck with that. Yeah, it didn't eventuate, yeah. yeah. We can see the wisdom of Cowboys saying no to that. Can't yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But also, they've got Appy coming there next year. Like, yeah. why would Robson leave? Hmm. No, exactly. Cool. Yeah. Spot on. But it does strengthen the Cowboys now. It is a good signing. With Lukey out with the ACL, like you mentioned, Leilua coming in, although he'd been underperforming the last couple of weeks, we know how good he can play. So it, it's... It strengthens their premiership credentials now, the North Queensland Cowboys. Yeah, well, and they don't need it. Like, they're going so good. Like, they've got the second best defence in the competition. They're so dangerous all over the park. They've got speed. They've got good, experienced half. The hooker is playing out of his skin. Mm-hmm. And 
they're just they're in this competition up to their ears. And one of the things with this August one deadline now, which is a month later essentially than the June thirty, it, it gives clubs four more weeks closer to the finals to really pick their, 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 their trouble spots. Mm. And, and you're only a month out for the, from the finals by then. I don't agree. With, I think August 1's too late in the season. I think when they brought it in first way back, it was around the COVID time and all the rest of it. And there's all sorts of reasons why it was a good idea. I, I think it's too late in the season now. It wasn't now. an issue until we Luke, Luke he injured himself on the weekend, was it really? Yeah, but no, we, they we were, saw that they last... were overstacked yeah. with back rolls. Yeah, but we saw last year the teams, as they got around August 1, really went out and identified where they were a little bit skinny depth-wise mm. and, they, and they really cherry-picked... Well, Tavita what, what Pangolo they Jr. Do. is a perfect case there you last go. year from the Broncos to the Panthers. Mm. Yep. And goes and plays a role in that premiership winning side. Yeah, and it's too late. They, they, they need to bring it back again. We've got the Serrano Cup this week. The Dogs taking on the Tigers. Do we, are we any closer to a decision there? We talk about it every night. Is Serrano any closer to any decision anywhere? Certainly my information is that there's no deci- decision imminent at all. Um, I think Serrano will take his time with it, assess both clubs. Uh, I'm not convinced he even goes to another club. 